Welcome to Tell Me the Treasures. Today we're learning Nuzzer page 66, which happens to be the very last page in this Gemara, in this Masechta. And it concludes, although we were learning about all the laws of a Nuzzer, with the following question. If you have the opportunity to say a bracha, and let's say, for example, when it comes to the grace after meals, and you could lead it and say the blessing, and all the other people there will answer a man to your blessing. Is that the best scenario? Is that the best thing you can do? Or is it better to listen to the person saying the blessing and you answering a main, which in itself is an acronym for God is the true king, El Melech Naman, which is the letters for the word Amen, which in itself represents truth, and you believe that was just being recited in the blessing, which one's better? So as one can imagine, it's a dispute, as is discussed here. So there is one opinion that he would always encourage his children to quickly grab the cup for the grace after meals so that you would lead the blessing. However, the Talmud says that actually the one who answers a main possibly is greater. And interestingly enough, we find that Rabbi Nehoroi says, you know what, I can prove it to you in a most unusual manner. He says that if you talk about battles, we often speak about who won those wars, the king or a general. And the truth is, the king may not have even been on the battlefield. And the general, maybe strategically he was involved in this whole process, but he wasn't the one that was in the battlefield. The people that spend all their time fighting are not accredited for the war, even though they are from the beginning all the way almost to the very, very end, the ones that really won the war. But we don't talk about them. Who is the one who is most acknowledged? The one at the very, very end. And it used to be also powerful people used to come at the very, very end to just make sure that they were victorious in this particular battle. So he said, it's the same thing when it comes to a blessing. The blessing are like these soldiers that are not necessarily recognized. And the great recognition is at the end by saying amen, which in itself is quite fascinating but again, the Talmud actually concludes by saying the truth is one will receive reward for saying the blessing and also you get reward for saying Amen. And it's a dispute which one is more important. Now, on one hand, you could say, just like in life, the person who is the one who initiates things, the one who is the leader is like the one who said the blessing because you're the one that started off. And because of that, you deserve a great level of recognition. It's on some level much easier to be a follower, that once you see someone else doing something, you continue to do what they did. But to be the innovator, to be the one who stood up and did it first, that's something which you should get great credit for because you don't have that role model above you to look at because you're the starter. So maybe on some level that's like a blessing, that you're the one that starts off with the blessing. But on the other hand, a main is even more special because possibly instead of it just being one, a main, what you're doing is you're making a connection. It means that you listen to what this person said regarding the blessing of God, blessing to God, and they acknowledge it and agree to it. And therefore, now instead of it just being a blessing of one, it's a blessing of bringing people together. There's more connection. And perhaps this is the reason why in one of four places, the Talmud concludes in four places the same statement that scholars increase peace in this world. Because just like when you say Amen, you're linking yourself to the blessing before, that is what scholars do as well. They are to bring people together, including the whole notion of the Nazir is that the wise man has the capacity to be able to remove certain things which would bring possibly the husband and wife close together as we'll discuss more in tomorrow's new book.